Hello YouTube, today we're going to talk about the MCSA and the MCSE and what I think are the most important MCSEs to be studying right now. Now there's many different MCSAs and MCSEs that you can pursue. So you can get an MCSA these days in Windows 7, Windows 8, or you can get it in more complicated things like Server 2012, SharePoint, uh, etc. So the MCSA for a while used to mean Microsoft Certified System Administrator. Um, then what came out was the MCT, M Microsoft Certified IT Professional, which is MCITP. And that was basically going to replace the, um, the MCSA. But for whatever reason, they switched back and made MCSA again and MCSE again. So they switched MCSA from Microsoft Certified System Admin to Microsoft Certified Solution Associate. And the same thing for the Microsoft Certified System Engineer. They switched that to Certified Expert. So those are big changes to the certification structure. Now, nowadays, like I, I just got my MCSA in Server 2012, and right now I'm studying the MCSE in Exchange 2013. And I think that personally, and this is just my opinion, is the most valuable MCSE. When I've done research on what other people are saying, apparently the most two most valuable MCSEs are private cloud and server infrastructure. So server infrastructure is basically just um, and the MCSA on server 2012, but more in depth. And they, they go into different roles that they don't actually touch on in the MCSA. Um, then things like IPAM and stuff like that, um, I believe anyway. Or actually, no, I think that is in the MCSA because my last exam for the MCSA, I substituted it for another one that gave me a Microsoft specialist and still the MCSA. So I'm, I think IPAM actually was in the 7412. But anyway, I'm off topic. Basically, I think that the exchange is probably your best bet because in even small to medium business or SMB, uh, all the way up to enterprise, Exchange is used everywhere. Pretty much every single company uses Exchange. And the guy who is most highly utilized, I find, at companies is the Exchange guy or guy who knows Exchange. And the team, there's usually Exchange teams. So there's whole jobs just for Exchange out there that you can get. There's lots and lots of work for Exchange. And it's really complicated stuff, So people and people know that. So they give a lot of respect to Exchange admins. And it's the second thing I'm always asked in, in an interview is, well, what do you know Active Directory? And the second question is always, do you know Exchange? And up until you know 2013, the answer was always no for me until I started working at this Microsoft Gold Partner. So now I work with Exchange and stuff like that, but I don't really know how it works. So that's why I'm trying to study it now. Now, private cloud is interesting too, if you've heard of that. Uh, it's called private cloud, actually, even though it, us it uses SCCM. I used to think, why is it called private cloud if it uses SCCM? Well, you can also use System Center to actually give people the ability to spin up their own virtual machines and do it and spin up their own production environments um, with different things. Uh, so then there's lots of different things in there, like Operation Manager and um, and just different stuff in there that really kind of help you, you know, lay out your fabric and and also help other people be able to lay out their stuff as well and tie that into Azure, do that kind of stuff. Um, so. That's another big one, but the problem I have with why I'm not fully interested in private cloud because it's actually really, really, really cool and interesting is that only really big companies use private cloud. So unless you're going to work for a big ass company and you have lots of experience already behind you, you're probably not going to land yourself a job using private cloud. Not to say that people wouldn't respect that cert. Um, another one is communication. Uh, you can get an MCSE in communication, which is basically um, link server and so you learn how to set up a phone system with link server software telephone and set that all up. Uh, there's also the MCSC in SharePoint which has been around for a while. Uh, SharePoint is basically just a web server a web server that does a lot more interactive stuff and it's more easier to set up than just building a website for a lot of people and they can do a lot more building and quick deployment with it when they understand it. I have no interest in SharePoint. Another one of them is um, uh, desktop infrastructure, so you can get, like I said, an MCSE in Windows 7 and Windows 8. It's less certs than some of the harder ones, like Windows Server 2012. It's only two for the MCSE, and three, and two, sorry, for the MCSE. So it's three and two for the MCSA and MCSE and Server 2012. Um, so it's a lot easier, but it's still a very hard exam at the same time. 
So you can you can take that if you're working in help desk and that's as far as you want to go with your career. I think that those are great certs, but personally I don't recommend people to take the MC the MCTS or to take the, the later exams for the MCSA and the Windows and the MCSE for Windows 7, Windows 8. Because it's just Windows 7, Windows 8. You, you know, you take one more exam and you can be an MCSA in Server 2012, which makes you a bit above the you know the rest. You'll be worth more. It will increase your you know your your net worth by quite a bit if you if you take on the server stuff. But it is harder, so it's up to you guys. Um, another one that's very interesting. It's called business intelligence. You can get certified in business intelligence, and that's basically how to run and operate businesses and ensure that they're not only running well but but um, creating a lot of um, wealth for the company and making sure that revenue is high. And another MCSA that you can take is. Uh, desktop and apps, desktop and mobile apps, I think it, I believe it's called, and that's basically just what it sounds like. You can be able to pu push and publish things and to phones and different stuff like that. So there's lots of different paths you can take. Um, of course, server infrastructure is really useful because that would make you understand Windows Server by itself, standalone, the best. If you do SCCM or you do Exchange like I'm doing, that's going to specialize you in a different technology that doesn't come with the base install of Windows Server. So if you just want to be an expert at Windows Server, it might be advantageous to you to go out and pursue the server infrastructure. Um, <clears throat> personally, I might do that after. I'm, I'm, I think that is the one I'm going to do, um, just because I really want to know Windows Server 100%. And I know pretty well by at this point, you know, I can do pretty much anything from failover clusters to, to um, you know, just set up a simple storage space or do something like um, working, you know, S config with server core. So giving, doing the MCSA has really given me a lot of knowledge. I've read a lot of thick books and I'm able to put a few more letters behind my name. So it's been great. I do recommend people take Microsoft certification and really look into it. And if anyone thinks that Microsoft certification is easy because Windows is easier than Linux or whatever they think, that is not the case. It's actually easier to take a Linux Plus than it is to take a Windows Server cert. So let me know what you guys think about this video. If you guys are taking different certs, let me know what you guys are taking. If you have any questions or want help with studying, I'm more than happy to give you guys a hand, okay? Thanks for watching. Until next time.